FHA or Federal Housing Administration and VA or Veterans Administration are both government-backed mortgage loan programs. They are affordable alternatives to conventional mortgage loans. The government essentially insures the lending bank against losses on these particular loans. Most lenders offer first-time buyer programs that can have down payments requirements as low as 3%. This allows buyers that haven't saved the full 20% down payment to get into their dream home sooner. It's a great idea to get pre-approved by your lender of choice so that you know how much home you can afford with your current budget. The lender will also discuss their interest rates and their various down payment programs. With this knowledge you can start the home search process with the assistance of a qualified real estate agent. The FHA and VA mortgage programs mentioned earlier allow buyers with less than stellar credit to qualify for a home. Once you get into the home, you can always refinance your mortgage for a lower interest rate at a later date when your credit score improves. There are several factors that impact your credit score as we will discuss. So let's discuss the criteria used to calculate your credit score. The most important factor that carries the most weight is your payment history which accounts for 35% of your overall credit. So it goes without saying that a borrower looking to improve their score must make all loan payments on time. Um, the next major factor is debt utilization which makes up 30% of your score. Debt utilization is the ratio of outstanding credit card balances divided by the total credit limits of all revolving debt. To maximize your credit score you want to use less than one-third of your available revolving credit loan balances. A potential borrower that has maxed out their credit cards is considered high risk and a possible bankruptcy candidate. The next most important factor making up 15% is the age of the loan accounts. In other words, the average length of how long each loan has been open. Think of it like this, a person with a long average loan history of let's say 15 years is considered less risky than someone that just recently established credit a year ago. The fourth criteria considered for a credit score is recent credit inquiries and loan applications during the last 12 months. Lastly, lenders want to see a nice balanced 50 to 50 mix of installment loans and revolving lines of credit. Examples of installment loans are car and home mortgage loans where the payments are fixed principal and interest versus revolving credit lines like credit cards and home equity lines where payment are typically interest only and principal can be paid down and re-borrowed. The last two criteria each account for 10% of your overall credit score. So let's dig into renting versus buying a home. There are many variables like economic conditions, amount of savings, personal budget, real estate market conditions of the desired neighborhood, etc. that can impact this decision. Typically, rent is close to the same amount as a mortgage payment. But let's keep it real, there are other obligations to consider that come along with home ownership like property taxes that the owner is responsible for. Also you pay out of your pocket for repairs and maintenance to your property versus being able to call the property manager or owner when some repair work needs to be done. Also buying a home is a long-term commitment, typically 30 years as opposed to when you rent you generally sign a one-year lease. Having said all that, then why buy? Well this is why, despite the additional obligations, the benefits of home ownership far exceeds that of renting. For starters, home ownership allows you to accumulate equity. Equity is the difference between the market value of the home and the amount you owe on the mortgage loan. As the home increases in value over time and you make your payments, the equity increases. Equity in homes is the single most common way that American families generate wealth that can be used to send your children to college, start a business or pass down to the next generation. Another benefit is the interest part of the mortgage payment is tax deductible which can help lower that tax bill to Uncle Sam. 
Ah, there are several other benefits, but the last one I'll highlight is the pride of ownership and participation in the American dream.